Please don't yell at me. No! You understand. How come you're yelling at mommy? Are you understand? Yeah. Yeah, parenting is a tough gig, especially if you give all the power to your child. Some parents say that giving children options is empowering, but now many psychologists say it needs to stop. McLean's Magazine journalist Kathy Gooley wrote an article called The Collapse of Parenting, Why It's Time for Parents to Grow Up. She joins us now, and it has got, I mean, traction beyond traction everybody beyond. weighing in here. So what is it? What like What is causing this so-called collapse of parenting? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a uh, phenomenon that I think is familiar for a lot of people. Basically, a lot of modern parents today want to empower their child. And in an effort to do that, they're basically undermining their own authority. And so it's the, the struggle. How do you nurture your child and how do you govern your child? That's really what we're talking about. So, and there's a number of aspects to this, but let me ask you about um, food mm -hmm. in particular yeah. and how that is one example of, of parents wanting democracy in the household. Yeah. I call the dinner table ground zero yeah. um, for the collapse of parenting and the idea comes from uh, an American psychologist and family physician Dr. Leonard Sachs who writes in his most recent book about how a lot of times when people when parents start to relinquish authority when they start to over empower their children it happens over food many parents will relate to the struggle to get your kid to eat veggies right. to get your kid to eat anything um, you know that might be different than what they say that they want and then there's other things subtle things that we do I'm parent and I certainly have done this myself where you know wherever we go we have uh, a canteen of water or a sippy cup and a bunch of little goodies with us and you know really what that is is symbolizing how as parents we want to satisfy our child literally and figuratively you know even on just a 20 minute car ride we bring along some some food and sure. some drink yeah because we want them to be happy of well, course so, so tell me uh, on the food front about you know trying to get these kids and the story of overhearing a parent and how that parent was trying to get that child in a restaurant. Yeah, again, something. this comes from um, Dr. Sachs, but he was in a restaurant and he overheard a father basically pleading with his young daughter, you know, honey, could you please just eat a few of your green peas? And to him, you know, to most parents probably, you, you would have kind of overheard that, that Sure, I think yeah, I've that done statement. that, absolutely. Exactly. And said, okay, well that's fine, decent parenting, maybe even sophisticated, because you're kind of, um, you know, giving the children a, sen a child a sense of autonomy. Um, but this, this doctor um, heard that and he said that perfectly embodies the collapse of parenting because basically we're asking our child instead of telling our child that we have a certain expectation of them. And, you know, again, you might uh, say, oh, it's just a silly example, but what is the symbolism there? And, mm -hmm. you know, if you um, are giving your child authority over something that symbolizes nurturance, food, it's, you know, how we are helping our child grow and thrive, um, that's where problems can arise. There's also a, an incredible Vancouver psychologist, Dr. Gordon Newfeld, who talks about how giving your child choice over things like what color pants would you like to wear is good and healthy. Of sure. course, children should have choice in how they live, but what are the choices we're giving them? And, and food maybe is not a good place that we should be giving them a lot of choice, um, especially when the choice is healthy or not healthy. Oh, and I've been there too. See that video? I've been there yeah. too. I, there's so much we to all this. Have. <laughs> and it's just, I mean, that, and that's yeah. only one aspect, but there's so much to the article and, and, and the research that you've done. Thank you, Thank you for sharing this morning. We'll have a link to Kathy's article that'll be right on our website, canadam.ctvnews.ca.